Hello everyone, welcome to the first lecture of the new course where we are going to master one of the most popular programming language in the world that is Python. This is going to be a full course where we will start Python programming from basic level. So if you don't have any programming knowledge then also you can take this course to start your programming journey with Python. Python is one of the easy programming language to get started with programming. Let's move ahead with the agenda of today's lecture. So we are going to start this lecture by introducing you to Python. Then we are going to talk about the features that are provided by Python and the application of Python. And at the end of the video, we will install the Python software and also we will write our first program on IDLE. Now coming to the first topic of this video, what is Python? Python is fastest growing popular programming language in the world. Python is a high level interpreted object oriented computer programming language. Its high level built in data structure combined with the dynamic typing and dynamic binding makes it very attractive for rapid application development. If you don't know what does it mean by dynamic typing or interpreted language, don't worry, we will learn about it in our upcoming lectures. Python was created by Guido van Rossum in 1989 and further developed by Python Software Foundation. In Python, instead of curly braces, the indentation is used to describe a block of code, which makes it structured. At the initial time, Python was not much popular as it was slow compared to the other language. But now, with the rise of machine learning, AI and data science, Python has become popular as it makes the work easy for a programmer. Now coming to the features of Python, simple syntax of Python makes it beginner friendly programming language. Now look at the block of code where a program is written in C language to find out the bigger number between two numbers using ternary operator. The meaning of the highlighted line is if 12 is greater than 6 then 12 will be stored in k otherwise 6 will be stored. But a person who don't have any programming knowledge he or she may not be able to understand the meaning of this line but if we write the same program in python then we just need to write a equals to 12 if 12 is greater than 6 else 6. This line looks like an english like sentence and also a non programmer can able to understand the meaning of this line. The next feature of python is its library. Python provides us a large number of inbuilt library support that can be imported at any point of time and be used in our program which makes our program easy and also we need not to write the code all by ourselves. The next one is object oriented programming approach. Python supports multiple programming paradigms and it also support object oriented programming approaches that basically means Python supports uh, the concept like class object inheritance abstraction etc the next one is high level language being a high level language we need not to worry about the low level activities like memory management coding architecture while writing the code uh, python is highly portable if we write a python code in windows machine then we can implement the same code for linux machine also without changing the code the next is highly dynamic being a dynamic language we need not to explicitly specify the type of variable while writing the code the type of variable is decided at the runtime which increase the efficiency and also save times so this basically wrap up this topic and move ahead and understand about the application of python the application of python is not limited within a specific field python is used for web development data analysis computer networking scientific computing and many more it is a multi-purpose programming language which makes us possible to achieve all those things in less amount of time with less amount of code so now we are going to download the python software on windows system to download python open any browser and type python.org then download the latest version after downloading open it and check on this and select customize installation then next then install for all user then install it now click on close and type ideally on windows search bar ideally and open it
now this is python shell where we can execute single line code like uh, print like this to uh, to write a program click on file and open a new file and save it by clicking ctrl plus s from your keyboard and select the location and then name it as example with dot py extension now we are going to write our first python program where we declare two variable and we will also initialize some integer values and then we will print the sum of those variables like v1 is our first variable and we initialize this v1 with integer value 10 and then v2 equals to 20 and then we print v1 plus v2 now note that v1 contains an integer value that is 10 but we did not specify the type of value v1 mm, we did not specify this variable like this way int v1 where int represent the type of variable because python is a dynamic type language so we need not to specify the type of the variable it will be decided at the runtime so now to run this program we need to press f5 from our keyboard and then enter so we we have successfully run our first program